outro cast. Christian, Martin, Martin, Christian. Uh, what are you drinking there, Christian? I, I'm curious. I, I'm still in the coffee part of the day. Oh, uh, yeah, Reposado. Okay. No. <laughs> I would, if you if it was Reposado, I would then say, what's the brand? And you can get the endorsement. Right, no. yeah. Just water? Just water. Yeah. And Martin, uh, looks like you're having coffee. That's right. What's that written on your coffee cup there? That is... Uh... It's a that's a tea it's a god in in memorial cup one of them in memorial it's from my mom uh -huh. you know, one of, yeah so got it well it's it's uh she gave it to me and it's it's just a cup from my village in my hometown alaska you know, so that's fantastic you're keeping yeah. it all it's a relic public it's a relic mm -hmm. a, fa a family heirloom they're going to make you a mayor in the near future i'm sure but i'll, I'll throw the first one to christian christian Actor and director on this particular project, which one came first? Uh, actor came first. Uh, originally, it was going to be Jason directing. Um, and uh, this is this was a passion project for Jason for a while. And then we got closer and closer to production. And Jason's uh, schedule just got so crammed, he, he couldn't do it. So he basically gave me the same order that he gave Martin. He's just basically saying, you're going to do it. <laughs> and so we did it. <laughs> well, that was going to be my follow-up question. As in, Martin, how did you wind up on this project? Was it a traditional casting thing, or Jason said, "Hey, do this"? Um, yeah, no, I hung out with Jason uh, in, uh, and uh, after we hung out, he called me and he said, "You're going to do this movie," and I said, "Okay." <laughs> That's how he does things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the so, credits say story by Jason, but obviously that's an understatement to his overall contributions to the project. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, he was the he was a you know, he he was the one to put it all together, really. You know, yeah. He and, was the, and, the guy yep. behind the curtain. My yep. last Jason question before I move on here. I saw a video of him recently jamming with Les Claypool from Primus. He seems like one of these people who has all these hidden talents that we don't know about. Is that the case? Oh, I, I think you know about all of them. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. social media. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he's jamming with everybody, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now I know. So, Christian, as I mentioned before, actor, writer, director, producer, multifaceted career that you got going. Was the whole plan from the beginning to be a director, though? For myself? Yes. No, I come from fourth, fourth generation actor. You know, my great grandmother was in Spanish speaking vaudeville out of, you know, Mexico. My grandfather was uh, Spanish speaking and then went into movies and radio and my mom, my aunt. So that was our family business. And then um, had I had more of a kind of choice in my life, because it felt like that was the family business I had to do, I probably would have gone straight to directing. Yeah. Yeah. But I, am, I, I love I love theater. I love the classics. I love all sorts of things. It's, it's a little bit of spoiled for choice, you know? Makes sense to me. Martin, in your case, fantastic credits with Yellowstone and et cetera, et cetera. But for you, are you eventually positioning yourself to direct and produce or is on screen where you want to be? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love acting. I love I love I love the craft of acting. Um, but that's that, you know, I, I would love to direct one day for sure. Producing, as for producing, I'm already producing. I've produced a couple of projects already, so I have some more in the works. Um, and and uh, yeah, so that's 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 a something that I never planned to do, but it just kind of evolved, and and uh, the opportunity arose, and I took it. So, uh, but mm -hmm. directing, yeah, that's you know, like Christian, you know, he said he does. He, I want to do theater and stuff like that. Like, yeah, uh, he's. I'm trying to get to that level i want to be, i want one of my kids 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 to be fourth generation actors you know <laughs> I, I love it it's an awesome it's my favorite job i've ever done <laughs> in terms I think of storytelling story it's about storytelling you know it's, it's, storytelling. Like, it's, it's like where 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 can we have the most impact as a storyteller you know and if it means right. writing or directing or producing or being an actor actor feels more visceral you know mm -hmm. personally but you know it's about storytelling that's what it's about Speaking to the fourth generation tag there, Christian, the Nelsons, Gunner and Matthew Nelson from the band Nelson, they're third generation. I can't think of a fourth generation acting family. Are you the only ones out there? <laughs> I wish I could say I was the only one. I'm sure there are more. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was like window makers and uh, whatever. I mean, you know, that's how families used to work. You know, um, you just did, did, the, did the same job, you know, and that was our job. And it was a working class acting family, you know, and stories were a big part of my grandfather and great grandmother's culture. You know, I mean, as as in Martin's in the Native American world, storytelling is was how you survive, you know, it was how you gave you lessons of survival. And I think that's why it's so important to me not to just take it for granted and not just to sort of, you know, tell stories to the lowest common denominator or play down to an audience. You you need to bring an audience up. You need to educate, you need to raise, because that's literally how we're going to sort of survive, in my opinion, is by elders and other stories to teach and educate. Hmm. I couldn't tell from just watching this film and of course we're here to talk about the last manhunt it's me who sidetracked the whole conversation into mm -hmm. career aspirations but <laughs> where was the last manhunt filmed these days you can't tell because it seems like everyone has the desert film set the western film set etc yeah i mean it seems like uh joshua tree in particular is such a um a hipster kind of place to shoot um and yet, you know, I've been out here since 2006. Um, and uh, this story, Willie Boy, actually happened in Joshua Tree, California, Yucca, Morongo Basin, this whole area. Um, so this is a story that actually generated and, and, and actually lived and breathed in this land that everyone is doing their skincare line commercial from. You know, um, and so, so you know, we we chose to shoot the movie here, you know, not, not just put plates up and do studio, but we actually are actually on the ground doing <laughs> really unique locations, you know, uh, that we found, which are not actually open to the public and you cannot actually shoot your skincare commercial on. I mean, these are really like, some of these are really sacred lands that we got access to because of the nature of the project. Is, is that near Pioneer Town? Uh, it is near Pioneer Town. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pioneer Town, Yucca, Joshua Tree. Yeah, all around. Martin, had you filmed anywhere near here before on prior projects? Um, no, no, not, <laughs> not, 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 no, 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 no. I've filmed up in like I filmed in like other interesting places in California, like the Russian River or Pinnacle, you know, Pinnacles National Park. I've filmed there before. I've, but I've, you know, like mm -hmm. Southern California, uh, it's always been on, you know, either a ranch or a studio, a movie ranch or a studio. Um, but this is the first time, you know, being out in the desert and it was incredible. Amazing. It's yeah. Fantastic to hear that you filmed in a unique place like that. I'm finding, and you guys could tell me if I'm wrong on this, very few things are filming in traditional Midtown Manhattan, New York, or Los Angeles on the lot these days, that it's actually on the set in alternative places these days yeah i mean you can thank tax credits for that you know so they can yeah. go in a whole whole conversation about tax credits but um uh yeah i think it's it's also just like you know stories are starting to get out into the country into nature into the place where it's set you know and also it has a lot to do with technology because technology is you know much easier now you know you're not lugging around a 35 millimeter you know camera that's weighs a ton you know so it's 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 easier to do well, down to the last two questions here for both of you, and they should be quick and relatively painless. Uh, the first one is, this is a Paramount-related project. Obviously, this is the best thing Paramount is putting out ever. We all know that. But is there a second Paramount-related project that you can recommend? And it's um, kind of the answer is no. Uh, Paramount Plus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, 1883, right? Yeah, there you go. I mean, come on. Which There's you played Sam in, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll take 1883. And then the, the last question that I have for both of you. What's next? Now, throwing it to Martin here, there's a rumor that you're going to play Jim Thorpe in an upcoming role. Is that going to happen? Uh, we'll see. We will say, okay, <laughs> the embargo from the Hollywood Reporter, got it. Are you allowed to say anything that is coming up or is it all the last manhunt all the time for you? Last manhunt all day, November 18th, check <laughs> it out. In theaters on VOD, go see it, man. <laughs> 
and then throwing that same question at you, Christian, before I let you two go. What's coming up next? Because, hey, actor, producer, writer, director, fourth generation, megastar. <laughs> are you allowed to say what's next? Or is it all the um, last hunt all the time? You know, I, I'm going back to some roots uh, in January. I'm going to do a theater project in New York. And, um, and then there are two projects that, again, are under the seal of secrecy, uh, just to see if, you know, no one wants to say it's happening until it actually happens. So... Yeah, so there's two other things, but I'm I'm sort of going back to uh, to to the gym I call it, which is theater for me. Yeah, yeah, stand up comics that are huge have their <clears throat> workout rooms where they try yeah. out material. The tiny clubs actors mm -hmm. have theater, musicians I guess have jam nights. I get it. You two are yeah. craft oriented folks. Yeah, yeah, you got to stick with it. Well, thank you both for your time, and looking forward to whatever is to come, no matter the medium for both of you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Outrocast. <laughs>